I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. My father uh, grew up in the high time of horror, in the uh, 60s, uh, early 60s uh, through mid 60s, when the classic Universal Monster stuff was on TV all the time. Uh, so he has issues of the original Famous Monsters of Filmland uh, that, that I came across in the attic when I was young and absolutely loved them. Uh, along with those Famous Monsters of Filmland things, uh, there were a few issues of other uh, comics and magazines thrown in there. There were a couple issues of Eerie and Creepy and uh, some of the classic Tales from the Crypt comics and, and Vault of Horror and, and Haunt of Fear, uh, which made a slight comeback in the uh, 90s, uh, in part because of the huge success of the HBO Tales from the Crypt series, uh, but also because the rules preventing horror comics from being produced and released uh, had really dropped off by the time the 90s hit. So, if you're not familiar, there was a huge uh, pushback against horror and crime comics uh, back in the uh, 50s and 60s. They were demonized, there, there was the whole seduction of the innocence uh, book and congressional hearings that went on where these comics were portrayed as things that would create violent criminals and juvenile delinquents. Um, needless to say, all of that research has pretty much been proved ridiculously incorrect uh, and has even uh, been disavowed in some small way, at least, by the guy who originally propagated it. But this has led to some very interesting works that have come out from all of that. Uh, and if you're not familiar with the old EC Comics uh, Vault of Horror, Tales from the Crypt stuff, they were very violent stories in most cases. But they had fantastic art, they were generally well written, and they had these wonderful twists in them where very often the bad guys would get what they deserve, uh, some sort of supernatural justice uh, in a lot of cases. Now, there have been, there have been uh, more than a few books published about this stuff. Um, one of my favorites that I picked up is this one, The Horror, The Horror, uh, which is comic books the government didn't want you to read, uh, with an introduction by R.L. Stein, uh, And it's got uh, covers of these comics. It's got... Uh, actual reprints of some of them. Uh, highly recommend this one if you can get your hands on it. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. There's also this one, uh, Foul Play, which is the art and artists of the notorious 1950s EC comics, and this has some more great reprints of stories, as well as the fantastic examples of uh, the stuff from before the Comics Code came out, and then reprints that came out after the Comics Code came out, uh, and the small art and dialogue changes that went on uh, that are really, really ridiculous in the scheme of things. In some cases, making the entire story ridiculous and pointless. Uh, but this is another one, Foul Play. Uh, that's another one to check out if you're a fan of uh, the history of censorship. Uh, and also the history of how these things came to be and all the artists and creators involved. Uh, there's also some great reprints out there of uh, creepy and eerie uh, and everything like that. This one has some great stories in it and, and just a pure example of what kind of stuff you could find in these. Now, creepy... Uh, not bad, not bad. I like the Tales from the Crypt stuff a little bit better. Uh, and you have to remember that these are things that were being done uh, that inspired a lot of the horror films and a lot of the horror writing that came out of it because the people who have made all the movies in the 70s and 80s uh, at, up through now had all of this stuff to draw from. So this is close to original source material inspirationally for a lot of people, uh, which gives them that cultural value. If you're a horror fan, you should check out these comics. Now, 
in the note of inspiration, uh, there was a Kickstarter for uh, an anthology uh, a couple years ago. Uh, and this is what they put out. This In the Dark book, uh, which is 24 Tales of Terror. Uh, and it's done in the style of the uh, classic, classic stuff. Uh, so you get some really amazingly gory pictures and uh, solid stories. I was very happy when I uh, finally got this because I wasn't paying attention to a lot of the... Uh, details of it, and I didn't realize it was going to be quite that big, uh, but it is very nice, and if they still have some available, I will uh, put a link down in the description to get that, as well as uh, links to all of these other uh, books, so you can pick them up. Uh, and really, if you have an interest in censorship, in the history of horror in all of its forms, uh, and want to know what has inspired a lot of people that have come since, well, these are the books to do that. And there are tons and tons of books and a lot of great fighting for free speech that went on uh, during that time. Uh, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous what people think, how much power people give these comics. Uh, and if you actually read them, you'll see that it takes someone who's already really off to believe that anything in them would be a good idea. Fun to read, not so fun to live. And since a lot of the characters in it don't live, there's really not much of an argument for how they could serve as an impetus for delinquency. Um, but. Definitely check them out. If you haven't read any of the old uh, EC comics like Tales from the Crypt, tons of anthologies out there of those. Definitely pick them up. Uh, watch the Tales from the Crypt television series. Watch the Creep Show movies. Uh, they capture the feel of these classic horror bits so incredibly well uh, that I, I recommend all of that. Uh, so if you're a fan, of horror comics from back in the day and uh, what they've inspired since, leave me a comment down there. I want to talk about it. I want to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, I want to hear how these comics inspired you or how they changed your life for better or worse. Maybe you were inspired to become a juvenile delinquent because of the horror comics you read. I want to hear that story. So if you like what I have to say, uh, hit the like button down there. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe now so you can get notified of these uh, as they come out. I've been doing them every day. There's going to be another couple of months of these every day at least. Uh, and if you know anyone else who's interested in this topic, uh, share this with them. Send it out there. Let them uh, comment uh, and give them a chance to tell their own stories. I hope everyone's having a good time. I'm Kier, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.